In this video, I want to talk about the 25%. In the chronic fatigue syndrome communi uh, community and uh, me, which I prefer, um, there's a 25% of us that you cannot see, you cannot hear out there. They are what we call bedridden. So their base energy is so low, but so low that uh, just living all their energy goes to keep them alive. Um, so some cannot even ingest food. Um, some can maybe stand up, go to the restroom, and that's about it. So there's a lot of carers out there that care for them, their family, the spouse of um, next of kin. But I just wanted to give a voice about um, about them. They do exist, they're out there, they're suffering. And I do not imagine. I was uh, bedridden and very bad for uh, three months was my worst where I had to stop working. Um, I was house bound for a while, which means I could, uh, you know, go to the restroom, feed myself, not necessarily cook, but <laughs> I could feed myself. Um, and I was, that was much longer, but in bed, I do not imagine years and years because I thought I was going to lose it. Like you are so sick that you cannot read or you, I was very sensitive to sound so I couldn't listen to music I couldn't watch tv you are in a bed doing nothing now my brain was very swollen so I was in and out um and I say my brain because that's what it felt like um they have been proven that there's low level of inflammations um but I know the general uh medical community not necessarily accept that very much but anyways i felt extremely inflamed in my head and you kind of like well you know you're kind of in and out in a way but there's some days where i was very conscious so i just have to stare at the ceiling and just be with yourself and that is really hard i really do not know how these people do it for 10 20 years and my heart goes out to you um and for me, you are a champion. You're still there and you're hanging my hands down and about to you. Um, it's a hard thing to do. So um, I just wanted to give them a face and uh, make you aware that they exist. Now, I am very lucky and I am what you would call a recover um, chronic fatigue uh, syndrome patient. And that's a pet peeve of mine because People think, oh, just because you got out of bed, you're cured. And there's no such a thing. Um, there's some very isolated cases where people regain their life back at the beginning when they're first sick and then they get better. But in the majority, what they call you're okay, it's far from being okay. If you, In my book, if you have to manage energy, and you have to accommodate in your life to make concessions to have somewhat of a normal life. That's not a cure to me. Um, I will consider myself myself cure when I can do whatever I want. If I want to run, if I want to go to the gym, if I want to eat, whatever you want to do. The reason why I am bringing this up is because I want to make sure that when I do these videos, you have to understand that I am in the high end of the spectrum i do not want to misrepresent the people that are down here the 25 percent um but i do want you to um to get an idea of the different ranges of people so some people are bedridden some people are housebound some people are housebound but can work remotely um, in a computer. Some people are housebound, can work remotely in the computer and they can do chores in the house. Um, and there's people that can, uh, like me, I'm like house in the house. And when I say, okay, I can work or go to work, that means for me sitting in a couch with um, my feet up and I'm basically horizontal working all day in a computer. Now I do go to the office sometimes. I'm not required per se, to do so, um, I work on project basis. So um, 
you know, I can, when I am not at my best, I can stay home and recover and spend, you know, I, I'll say, hey boss, I'll work remote for a week or two and get myself up to my baseline. And when I am back on my baseline, I can go to the office and just, I have a recliner, put my feet up and basically I'm working from laying down on the couch. Um, so it's kind of the same for me. Um, getting ready tires me out a lot. So that is a problem. Um, but other than that, um, I just wanted you to be aware that there's a whole community out there and I am not necessarily a representation of the very, very sick. Um, they cannot even feed themselves or, or do that. Um, so we have to treat each case based on what that baseline means. Some of your friends and family, their um, top can be open their eyes and close them back and that's as much as they can handle in a day. There's cases like that. If you have uh, watched the unrest documentary, you will see that. Um, there's uh, some that can do more. So, please, you know, don't it's not about pushing yourself or is I'm doing better because I can push myself. No, like I got out of bed because I got medications that help me and I do medications every day that help me to get out of bed. If I do not use my orthostatic intolerance, intolerance medicine, I would be as, you know, bedridden or housebound at least because I have very bad orthostatic intolerance. So being upright for me is a challenge. Um, and not, uh, you know, we are all different and you have to take whatever I'm saying in, in context with the particular situation. But I am trying to put out their videos for people um, as a hope. Uh, when I first started, I watched um, uh, videos of Francesca and she kept me going because okay i you know i can get out of this i can you know there's somebody doing better so i can do better and that just kept me going and that's what i wanted to give some people just it can get better is all i'm saying um and it may not it depends on the case and that is the sad reality where we are at right now so my biggest love to the 25%. I am so sorry. I know what you're going through and I do not know. Um, you are my heroes um, that you can make it every day and my heart goes out to you and hopefully we will get treatment and hope for you very soon. So thank you for watching today and rest well.